If you want to hear Jesus speak to you, then pray to him with your heart. Ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Tell him you don't want to live after the flesh anymore, that you want to do his will after the Spirit. Because the gift and promise of God to us is the Holy Spirit. And that's what regenerates us into the sons and daughters of God. That is how we're saved. So when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, of course, you will feel this wonderful, warm, glowing, loving feeling come into you. You will have a different nature. You'll love the things of God and not the things of the world, the fleshly thing. Of course, your flesh will want that. But you mortify the sinful deeds of the flesh. God will provide your needs, but not your lusts. Then the Lord will start leading you and guiding you by the Spirit. Now, sometimes he will speak to you through visions, through dreams, through revelations. You'll just know in your heart by the Holy Spirit that he's given you. And sometimes he'll speak to you through tongues. Like I can be praying in tongues and sometimes a word will come out that I'll understand. Most of the time I don't understand because the Spirit is praying for something from her heart that I don't even know how to pray for. Sometimes I'll hear a word that I understand or a phrase and it'll bless my soul. I said, wow, because sometimes I say, Lord, I wish I knew what you were praying inside of me. Like I was praying the other day and one word that came out, one of the little phrases that came out was oyendo me, oyendo me, oyendo me. And he was saying, God's hearing me. He's hearing you. Hear me, God. And he does. He hears our prayers. So problem is you try to hear him with your head, with your natural mind and not your heart. God doesn't deal with our flesh. I mean, he might deal with it, but it's, he doesn't uh, communicate with your flesh. He will speak to your heart, to your soul. So don't be looking for God with your natural eyes, your natural ears. Be looking for him with your spirit, with your soul, because that's what Jesus came to say. And you will hear him speak to you in the spirit. And you'll know by the spirit he's given to you. It's so wonderful. And then after you get out of the spirit and you think, did God say that? Did that just happen? That's your natural mind making you doubt and wonder, but you know with your heart. So go to your heart. The Lord has spoken to me in dreams and visions and revelations. He's appeared to my bedside at times and told me, I love you. He's told me, he shook hands with me once. And he said, congratulations, welcome to the brotherhood and many, many other things. So you can have a living, walking, talking relationship with God, but it's a spiritual relationship. It's not in the flesh, it's in the spirit. So you need to get out of your flesh, get in the spirit and hear what the spirit says to you. He wants to walk with you. He wants to talk to you. He wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to love him. He wants you to be with him. And you can, if you get in the spirit, he came to save your soul. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's not a fantasy. The devil keeps you in the flesh so much today in your work and your education, social media, schooling, whatever. He keeps you in the flesh all the time. You live in a fantasy world. Well, the spirit world of God, the Holy Spirit, is not a fantasy. It's real. And you'll know by the spirit. And he will lead you and guide you by speaking to your heart, by leading you by the Holy Spirit. You'll know by the feeling he gives you. And it's not a fleshly feeling. You'll know if the spirit bears witness to something or not. He'll lead you and guide you. It's easy. It's so simple to hear the voice of Jesus Christ leading you. He's with us in the spirit. If indeed you have the Holy Spirit, he doesn't speak to us through the Bible. The Bible is history. He was speaking to other people and they recorded it. We don't know how accurate it is, but it is not to you. It was to the ones he was speaking to. So come to him and get a word from him for you. And then you will have a relationship with him and not just an imaginary relationship with him that somebody else really had in history. He didn't stop speaking 2,000 years ago when the devil had the Bible compiled to keep you out of the spirit. He's still there. He's still available. He's resurrected. He's alive. He's our Savior. He's our King. And he fills us with the Holy Spirit so that we can walk and talk with him and have the nature of God in us. So come to him with your heart. He loves you. He wants you. He wants to talk to you. And he wants to lead you and guide you and tell you the truth for your life, not what he told somebody else. It, this is a relationship between you and him. And we're all individuals and he's real and he will deal with you. Your voice will be heard again. Free our soul from 
calling, your voice will be heard again. You spoke to us by your prophet, you spoke to us by your son. Then the disciples of Jesus became the anointed one. Speak through us by your spirit.